Half precision or float 16 is a relatively new floating point data type that uses 16 bits, unlike traditional 32 bit single precision or 64 bit double precision data type. So, when you declare a variable as half in MATLAB, say the number pi, you may notice some loss of precision when compared to single or double representation as we see here. The difference comes from the limited number of bits used by half precision. We only have 10 bits of precision and 5 bits for the exponent as opposed to 23 bits of precision and 8 bits for exponent in single. Hence, the EPS is much larger and also the dynamic range for half precision is limited. So why is it important? Half's recent popularity is because of its usefulness in accelerating deep learning training and inference mainly on NVIDIA GPUs as highlighted in the articles here. In addition, both Intel and ARM platforms also support half precision to accelerate computations. So the obvious benefit of using half precision is in reducing the memory, and reducing the data bandwidth, as we see here for the ResNet 50 model. In addition, the hardware vendors also provide hardware acceleration for computations in half, such as CUDA intrinsics in case of NVIDIA GPUs. We're also seeing traditional applications such as powertrain control systems do the same, where you may have data in the form of lookup tables as shown in the simple illustration here. By using half as storage type, you're able to reduce the memory footprint of this 2D lookup table by 4x However, it is important to understand the trade-off of the limited precision range of half precision. For instance, in case of the deep learning network, the quantization error was of the order of 10 raised to minus 4, and one has to analyze how this impacts the overall accuracy of the network. This was a short introduction to half precision, and please refer to the links below to learn more about how to simulate and also generate C, C++, or CUDA code from half in MATLAB and Simulink.